So what you're seeing right now is a really typical wave. These are waves found in nature all the time. For example, a musical tone can be represented with a wave like this. Uh, for our context, we're thinking of it as electrical activity in the brain that has been detected, uh, amplified, and recorded by something like an electroencephalograph, an EEG. So, uh, when we have a wave like this, we need to be able to distinguish between the different types of waves. And there's two main ways that we do that. We look at the frequency and we look at the amplitude. Let's consider frequency first. So if you imagine that this point, the beginning, right across the horizontal axis to here is, say, one second. The frequency asks, how many times does this wave repeat itself in that time span, in one second? So for this wave, we get one full cycle in one second. But I'll adjust it now, and I'll bunch it up. You can see I'm changing how the wave looks here. And now we can count one cycle, two cycles, three, four complete cycles. So in that same time span, in one second, we now have four complete cycles. So as it gets bunched up like that, we have more full cycles and therefore a higher frequency. This wave now has a higher frequency than the wave we were looking at at the beginning. So that's frequency. Frequency we consider how many times does it repeat itself across the horizontal axis. Amplitude is vertical. So frequency is horizontal, amplitude is vertical. I made up a little um, acrostic to remember that. Frequency horizontal, amplitude vertical. We can remember with for, honor, and victory. So if you, get, if you forget which is which, for honor and victory, the first letters are F, H, A, V to help you remember it. So amplitude. Amplitude is the vertical distance of the wave. If you look at how high these peaks are and how low these troughs are, that's the amplitude. Uh, in sound, how big the amplitude is would determine how loud the sound is. Generally, it's how strong it is. So here, we're, uh, so the amplitude for brain waves, it's how strong is that electrical impulse. So right now, uh, we've got quite high peaks and troughs. Again, I can adjust it. And now we have a much, much lower amplitude, a really low amplitude now. The peak hardly goes up at all. The trough hardly goes down at all. It's a very low amplitude. I haven't changed the frequency. We've still got one, two, three, four complete cycles. The frequency is still four, but the amplitude is greatly reduced. So hopefully that makes it really clear the difference between frequency and amplitude and how you can uh, judge them compared to other waves.